Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop of Quickie for the full two minutes. We are going to have a go at this, the Town Pump TS100 sodding iron, what's been had up and down all over Tenternet. I just want to have a look at this on account of me buying it from the usual scumbags for the cheapest price possible to see if I could get a knockoff. Now this come by me by uh, Lewis Rossman, who has a YouTube channel here. He'll teach you how to make a living repairing macbooks and mac whatever's ipods and so forth i owe him uh, a shout out and a steak dinner although he turned me down on the steak dinner i assume he thought i'd you know huh i thought this was usb powered taint it's 12 volt power 12 to 24 volt powered with a, a wall wart so here goes that idea now this as i said this has been up and down all over the internet so we're just gonna go over it real quick. Comes highly recommended. We'll peel back the flap and this is not a knockoff as witnessed by the nice surface mount uh, PCB in there. ST micro devices, STM32. Yeah, STM32. All the connections are nice, nothing wrong with that at all. We will stick in the heating element which is a PCT, ceramic PCT. And then we will go ahead and get this back together and give her a try. Now, I don't want to mislead you. This was not cheap. It's still 70, well, almost 80 Kanucky Stan Kopecks, roughly 50 bucks American. And it did not come with the 12 volt adapter. Now, any well appointed Empire Dirt is going to have a whole shit ton of these, but it is kind of a weird cock end on her. It's got the big pin in the middle, so it's not uh, perfectly plug and play. I had to dick around and find a, a new Chinesium um, switching converter in order to power the thing. And it only come with the one tip as well. I'm not quite seeing the appeal, to be frank with you. It's got the Chineseium just for smeller. Once you pass the smell, you got to licked. It says, <laughs> and demonetized. Um, the USB is only for reprogramming. It's supposed to be open source and all that, but it's, I think it's uh, not quite as open source as they, they make it seem. We'll just do a couple test coupons. Initial impression is because it, it's quite a bit smaller, it's a little finicky, and because the cord isn't a proper silicon cord, it's just one of these cheapos charger type deals, it's not very nice to move around. It wants to twist and fuck right off on you. And it's just got the tiny little tip on there. Plenty of heat. So you can easily increase the temp in 10 degree increments all the way up to 400. So we're going to do that. Excuse me. Choking on flux fumes here. Or tuberculosis. One of the two. Plenty of heat capacity. It's getting right into that uh, 16 gauge wire. Yeah, plenty of heat capacity. Nothing wrong with that. The one tip. Okay, so here. It's kind of fucky because it doesn't want to go where your hand is holding it. There's a there's a counter tweak there. As I said, part and parcel of the crappy end. If you only got 60 bucks to spend, this might be okay for you. But... If you're looking for a bench model long term, uh, you can't go wrong with the Heiko 888D. It's 50 bucks more, but you get a hell of a lot more iron. And uh, this is what, at 12 volts, 35 watts, something like that. The 888D is 100 watts or 80 watts. Or, I mean, it heats up like a hot damn. Uh, this guy's 70 watts, nice big power supply. That's, that's the reason, you know, if this came with a big power supply, 35 watt power supply, increase the price to, to just about the Heiko level. So, you know, what is the fucking point? And also replaceable, you get easy replaceable tips, a little bit nicer in your hand. And because it's real flexible, you get none of this tweaking over. So 
I would say uh, I'm going to pass on this one. <coughs> Doesn't do me any good. If and you want it, uh, I haven't busted it. Go ahead. Uh, I'll send it to you. No, no questions asked. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.